What's up, Miami Herald fans? Jackal Stevens here, CCW superstar, CCW Southeastern champion. We're here at CCW Pompano Beach for the 18th anniversary. I've seen you make big strides with CCW. I want to know what has it been like for you training here and getting to where you've gotten so far? Well, first and foremost, it's an honor and a privilege um, to wrestle and represent the brand you know, CCW brings you know, to all the fans and to everyone here in South Florida. Um, what it means to me personally, um, it, it means a lot because I get a lot out of wrestling. I get a lot out of training here and I get a lot out of, out of putting in the work here in CCW trying to make it the best product um, we could possibly you know, have here in South Florida. So um, to me, it's, um, it's literally, it's literally, I really can't, I'm trying to think of the words right now. And I'm, and I'm kind of, I'm, I, I don't have words what it does. It does so much for me, mentally, um, spiritually, physically, everything like that. Um, I don't know how I would be able to live my life without pro wrestling, without CCW, that provided me the platform to do what I do. So, like, forever grateful. So, I'm just paying it back each and every minute I have to them, so. How do you feel you've developed from those early days of just starting to where you are now? Um, yeah, I, I feel really good about it. Uh, the one thing I was told when I started was uh, just keep your mouth shut and your ears open. Uh, be a sponge, you know what I mean? See people that are doing the right thing see, and observe people that are doing uh, the wrong thing. And kind of mold uh, you know, yourself into, you know, um, into something that you know people can uh, you know eventually like look up to, and you know uh, the whole leadership aspect of um, of pro wrestling, the, like the locker room leader and everything like that. Um, I always observed those guys, and I always always observed like the guys that weren't invited back to the shows. You know what I mean? So like, I took a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? And I just kept this closed. It's very very important. And I've yes learned the craft. I've learned the uh, the you know the um, you know the locker room attitudes. Um, and I, I just, uh, and I'm still learning to be honest, like you never stop learning. That's the one thing I always believe in and um, I hear a lot of vets say that you never stop learning. So um, the one thing, I, I, you gotta be patient. I've learned a lot of patience, so. What made you decide you, this is something I wanna try? I wanna try to become a professional wrestler. Uh, to be, to complete, be completely honest. Um, I actually always wanted to be a wrestler, always wanted to try pro wrestling, um, but I just never did for some reason. Um, there are reasons, but we're not going to talk about that here. Until eventually one day I came across um, an ind independent wrestler by the name of Danny Dubstep. Um, some of you guys might know him, he was covered a lot about f a couple years ago. Um, I ran into him. I. I like, confessed my, my love of pro wrestling to him, and he says, "I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to train in a couple weeks. You know, maybe you come with me." It wasn't a couple weeks. It was like literally the next day. He called me. He brought me to the CCW training facility, and um, that was like um, four or five years ago, about four and a half years ago, something like that. And I never stopped. I fell in love with it right away. I felt at home. I felt at peace. I felt I felt like I could do this. You know what I mean? So like. Um, and I was 30 years old, and I'm 35 now, so like, yeah. it doesn't matter how old you are. If you want to do something, you do it, even if it takes that extra push from somebody. And I had a lot of people push me right in the right direction, and I'm very thankful for that. Very thankful. Diamond Dallas Page, when he was 35 years old, did. started his journey. So yeah. it's just one of those things that if, if you work hard, you get good at it, you put the time in, yeah. you never know what can happen. You never know, you gotta believe in yourself. And if you don't, find someone that believes in you, right? So, um, then I did, I, I found a couple people. And I was very thankful that a lot of the uh, people training at that time wel welcomed me in and took the time to teach me certain things. Um, and I just never stopped training. I still train two to three times a week. You gotta practice, gotta train. Um, and I think, it, it, for me, it's outside of you got to do this, you got to do that. I just like I love it. So like like I said before, like I don't know how I'd live without wrestling. So I, I need that fix like two, three, four, five times a week. Um, unless like I'm hurt, I need a couple. You know, I, I need a couple days. That's the one thing too is you push yourself too hard. Um, maybe take a couple days off. You know what I mean? So like I've learned that the hard way as well. Trust me. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. 
last thing, we're celebrating yeah. CCW's 18th anniversary, and we're also around the same time of WrestleMania, yeah, yeah, yeah. WWE's huge event and all. Absolutely. For you, as a pro wrestler, what are your thoughts of WrestleMania and WWE, and is that even a goal for you to one day be involved in it in some capacity? Um, I think it should be everyone, not should be, I am not controlling anyone's destiny or I don't want to tell anybody what to do, but if you're in this business, pro wrestling business, your goal should be to be part of this business for a living. Now, I'm a realist too, you know, so like, I want to be part of WrestleMania, but am I going to be doing that as a performer, as a wrestler, as a superstar, they call it? Um, the chances are very small, and that's fine, but there's are, there are other avenues, there are other things I can contribute and offer to a company like WWE. Like, my end goal in wrestling is to possibly get signed as a WWE official, as an AEW official, as a Ring of Honor official, as you know, someone that could produce the best possible show, um, you know, and you know, help, you know, help, um, you know, help, help out any way I can. You know what I mean? So like, my end goal would, would be like, yeah, I want to be a part of a WrestleMania um, any way I can. Uh, my end goal will be uh, an official of some sort, professional official signed to a contract. And what better way to be able to get there than to actually become a professional wrestler yeah. and learn about the business and what it takes to do that? That's all. My, my, my initial goal when I got into the business was to be a referee. And, um, and when I realized that maybe, I'm still young, I'm still in my prime, um, maybe, you know, wrestle for however long until I get out of my system and then I could transition easily into a referee, um, into a managerial or whatever the case is, uh, position. So um, if I did that now, I, I think I would excel at a high level at it just because of, of how many shows and how much experience I've, I've gotten and been fortunate enough to be given over the past five years um, to where I think I can exceed at a high level, high level right away. So but yeah, that would be my end goal. I love WrestleMania, I love WWE. Um, without that, this wouldn't be possible for me. Um, and I think it's great that uh, WWE, um, you know, WrestleMania just provides eyes all over the world. It's a global phenomenon, and it just gives people more enlightenment of, you know, uh, of the sport of professional wrestling and the product. So I think it's amazing. I'm excited for it. So. Well, I first want to thank you for the time. And secondly, I want to say this because I don't just say it to say it. Yeah. But if anyone out there is watching this or whatever, you want to have this talent, this wrestler, thank you, Jim. on your show, on your card. He has done such good things here with Coastal Championship Wrestling. I've watched him grow, improve, learn, do his thing, work the crowd, which is amazing, do his in-ring work. So just want to leave that out there. And thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Miami Herald, thank you so much for listening to Jackal Stevens. And I appreciate your time.